Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 27th, 2024. Well, my goodness, we have got quite the consolidation going on. If you remember on Monday, I suggested the possibility that we could just rest in consolidation. And although we're getting these hops and, and pops and things like that in the pre-market, we're not getting any follow through through the day. So how about we take a look at what happened overnight here? If we take a look at um, Asian markets, Asian markets are having one heck of a time. They're really partying big time over there on all of these uh, stimulus measures from the uh, Communist Party. If you take a look, um, Shanghai up again, making it above 3,000, that key area, up 2.88%. Hong Kong, another really big day, up 3.55% as they're zooming in. Nikkei up 2.32%. And um, Australia was up. Um, um, India was down just a little bit. One of the interesting things, one of the numbers that came out yesterday showed China's industrial profit uh, for August falling 17.8% year on year. So major, major decline there. Although they are getting really happy about all the stimulus, they're showing some really um, uh, negative numbers in their actual production and um, economy. If we take a look at European markets this morning, they are looking bullish here this morning across the board. The DAX up 0.71, the FTSE up 0.43, and the CAC up 0.29. And here in the US, well, not quite as bullish with um, a little bit of downside move with uh, the Dow right now uh, looking just a tiny bit lower down 11 points at 0 0.03 uh, negative. Um, S&P 500 down 0 0.10 and the NASDAQ futures down 0.25. So we'll have to keep an eye on that this morning. If we take a look at bonds this morning, bonds might be some of the reason we're continuing to see those bonds slowly creeping back up. We've got the two-year bonds at 3.62%, 10-year at 3.79%, and the 30-year coming in at 4.12%. So still maybe some a uh, little bit of concern. Oil yesterday, my goodness, we had um, quite the surge in oil yesterday but as you can see this morning well not quite so much at the moment let's look at oih oih um, really fell hard um, yesterday on that surge down and this morning we're trying to get a little bit of a pop up here in um, um, xle as you can see right now we've got oil up 0.2 uh, and well, 25 cents at um, 67.92 a barrel, and Brent is up 17 cents at 71.77 a barrel. Um, natural gas has been really looking good, but yesterday caught a little bit of pullback, finally resting in here and uh, dealing with this price resistance in the chart. But boy, that shirt certainly is a bullish chart. And if it can find some price support and hold that price support and trend right in here, I'd be looking for that next opportunity to take advantage of that. Right now, natural gas is down uh, about a penny and a half. If we take a look at cryptos this morning, cryptos had a, a banner day um, looking at, um, whoops. There we go. Um, iShares, uh, Bitcoin Trust, nice pop out of this little consolidating move. It's what we call a pop out of the box. Popping up nicely um, yesterday, trying to move on. Uh, BITO, another ETF, had the same kind of pattern here, popping up out of that little consolidation. Bitcoin this morning is trying to follow through up $456 a coin. Ether, however, is looking lower, uh, down at $10.71 a coin. And there's kind of a mix in some of those cryptos this morning. When we look at precious metals, 
a change here happening today. Um, uh, gold has been nothing but up this week, and we've got a little bit of a rest coming in here. Gold down $8.20 an ounce first thing here this morning, and silver also catching a little bit of a rest in here this morning, so a little gap down, but it's trying to buy it back up right away, so I would watch that closely. Uh, same, it's uh, copper, platinum, palladium, all a little bit lower here this morning as we try to oh deal with some of this um, straight up run here. Probably needs a consolidation, needs a rest in the market, and as I said yesterday, I certainly wouldn't chase it here. Uh, give it time to pull back and rest, maybe come back to trend. So what does all that mean for the day? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. And remember, we want to shake off that bias and look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. You know, um, I've had some comments that, um, you know, to the to fact, how did I know the market was going to consolidate? I didn't, and if you watch the Monday morning video, um, I, I didn't know the market was going to consolidate. It is just um, experience. And as we come into the transition of a quarter, it's very common to see um, volumes decline. And one of the reasons volumes decline is the corporate buyback blackout. They can't buy stock. And um, we have this uncertainty about next quarter's earnings events. So um, it's not an untypical thing to see us consolidate. What is kind of interesting is that we're seeing so much overnight influence. We're trying to uh, make things happen overnight. We can't seem to get things going during the day. But if you'll take a look, we continue in this consolidating move here on the diamonds. And although that is the case, this is still a very bullish chart. In fact, this rest in here, I think, makes it even better in that potential bullishness because of that hold. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration in the market, um, well, we need to see them break through up here to those blue sky highs. Um, and certainly every reason to believe that that's possible. If the bears were to become inspired, well, a push back down in here to test the low side of that support also would not be a surprise. And if they were to push beyond there, I think we've got a pretty decent support in the diamonds right in here, that upside trend that could catch us here in the diamonds. Now, pushing beyond there, that's where we're probably going to run into a little fear in the market and um, could really see some big point moves if that were the case. But for now, uh, we're just locked in that nice little tight consolidation. If we take a look at the SPY, now SPY had that benefit yesterday of that big Chinese move helping to provide some inspiration and it did pop out to a new record high. So we got that new record high but you can see even at the close we were fading this back in the market. So we'll want to watch this carefully. I still think this is a consolidating range. I think there's still a chance we could consolidate this all the way out here to trend. So if the bulls find it inspiration, we need to pop out of there, get that new all-time high again. And if the bears find inspiration, well, a test of this support would not be out of the question. Breaking back down into here, there's a really big area of price support in that upside trend. No particular worries there. But if we were to break beyond there, we're probably going to raise some fear in the market but i don't see that um, as a likely case just at the moment there's just a lot of hurry up and wait in the market if we take a look at our um, um, iwm 
our Russell in here. Our Russell just resting right on price support. No particular issues or worries in here. You can see just resting in that area. If the bulls can find inspiration, well, as I mentioned yesterday, probably up through here is where we need to see that breakthrough. And then we'll start looking up here. Beyond that, we're looking at a push up here toward the 2021, 2022 resistance area in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration here, a push down through this area might raise a little bit of worry breaking that support. Um, but I think we still have that chance that we can hold this trend break in here someplace and uh, then see that push back to the upside. We'll have to wait and see. Um, QQQ, well, very similar situation. It popped out yesterday. Um, on that uh, big Chinese push and as you can see uh, pushed up here into this resistance found that as resistance and pulled back but what that really means is we've probably widened out this chop zone to a pretty big area somewhere between up here and down here if the bulls were to find inspiration, well, we need to see them push back through this area. And then we can start worrying about maybe testing these all time or these highs up here. We're, we, we're going to need some pretty good push to get through there. So watch carefully for that. If the bears were to find inspiration, I think a push back down to test this little support and then on down to the bottom side of that area is still certainly possible. And I would watch for some big potential moves here if those bears were to be inspired. Now, if, and it's a big if, we were to continue to push on lower, notice we've got this upside trend in here. I don't think we would raise any major concern unless some of that area is broken to the downside. So keep a close eye. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday, while we were pushing to the upside, actually gapped lower, but continued to push back up here. We're holding in there around 15 handles on that. We've got this support right in here that we'll wanna be watching. Remember, so far we have not been able to break back down through there. And we're building this little wedging pattern here, flat bottom wedge in that now if the bulls find good inspiration then we need to see this area break and come back down into this area of the chart but so far that's holding in there and if the bulls or excuse me the bears were to find inspiration then i would look for that potential break up here and if we start popping back up through some of these areas in the chart we could certainly see some fear creep up right away in the market Remember, we have all that uncertainty about our um, um, earnings season, and I have no idea whether the earnings will be bullish or bearish. So you can understand that anticipation, that hesitation in, in the market. And with corporate buybacks being shut off, there's not much they can do to influence the market up or down. And so kind of left to our own devices as retail traders, and we're just not getting that momentum going here at the moment. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, now T2122 yesterday morning pushed right back up into that bearish reversal zone and um, then just started to fade. So we got the gap up and just couldn't follow through in that move. If the bulls find inspiration today, well, we've still opened up an opportunity for a little bit of upside move, but we are so extended in the short term in the markets. We're finding it very difficult with corporate buyback blackout to find the momentum, the energy to push on through. So once again, I still think there's a high probability that we are in this chop zone and we may be there for another week or so um, as we wait, maybe more, as we wait for the next round of earnings. And then keeping in mind, if those bears were to be inspired here today, push on down, um, we've got a big opportunity for those bears to move if they can find something to be inspired by. If we take a look at our uh, um, T2108 percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average, had a nice little bump back up yesterday, but really honestly didn't accomplish much of anything. And as you can see, we're still in here holding on some support levels. There's nothing in here to particularly worry about. We're just just don't seem to have energy 
in the market. If the bulls can find inspiration, well, we can see the resistance levels up here that we'd want to be testing. If the bears were to find inspiration breaking down this support, uh, we still have plenty of support levels below that could catch us. So um, I think it's kind of a hurry up and wait market right now. Our uh, T2107, very much the same. Uh, pushed back up, but you know, didn't really do anything special yesterday. Just kind of wandering around here in the market. As I kind of suggested earlier this week, that possibility was high. And um, we have certainly uh, made that come true with all of this bouncing around. The only thing that really was a surprise this week was China's big stimulus effort to push hard to get things going there as their economy continues to weaken very dramatically. If we take a look at T2101, here's where we can see what the problem is. Our breadth is declining. And when the market breadth declines, well, it's hard to find momentum to push on um, and continue to stretch. And so that momentum following yesterday, watch that closely. I suspect it's going to continue to drift lower as we wait for the next round of earnings. Now we do have a possibility that we could get something going today with some of our economic numbers here today. So taking a look, first thing out this morning, we're going to be dealing with international trading goods. International trading goods is looking for a 1.2.8 or 102.8, sorry, 102.8 billion dollar deficit. Um, um, in the negative and that's coming up just uh, maybe a tenth so keep an eye on that today we don't seem to care about this stuff anymore and I don't understand it um, how we can have numbers so backwards in the market just doesn't care the only thing they care about is whether AI is doing well and so far AI is not profitable so but we don't care we don't care our manufacturing is collapsing it's falling apart here in the united states um it's a weird weird situation here um that we and we just don't seem to care about these terrible numbers debt that is out of control nobody seems to care so pretty interesting situation i think there will be a day when all of a sudden we will care when that day is, I don't know. Now, if we take a look beyond that, the big number of the day is going to be this personal incomes and outlays number. Notice right in here on the personal incomes on the person um, uh, month over month, they're looking for that to increase to a 0.4 from a 0.3. Personal consumption, they're looking for that to decline from 0.5 to a 0.3. Um, the PCE numbers month over month dropping to a 0.1 year over year dropping to a 2.3 so we're seeing those declines and if we take a look here month over month on that core number looking for that to stay flat and they're actually looking for the year over year to tick one tenth higher so keep a close eye on that uh, could be an interesting number today could definitely inspire some buying or selling depending on how that actually comes out today Beyond that, we've got um, um, inventories, retail inventories, wholesale inventories. Looks like on the wholesale inventories, they're looking for those to decline just a little bit to a 0.2 from a 0.3. And then we have a consumer sentiment number. Consumer sentiment, they're looking for that to be a 69.0 and your uh, over year inflation expectations of 2.7. So watch that carefully. Remember, we had a terrible decline in the consumer confidence number earlier this week market had completely ignored it just like it didn't even matter at all that the consumers are suffering so watch that carefully perhaps this one could have some meaning um, Baker Hughes rig count we've got Bauman speaking here today and then farm prices let's take a look at um, um, our earnings calendar here for today and um, we're going to struggle a little bit with inf um, inspiration here today as well because of that. There are no notable reports here for today. As a matter of fact, um, little small cap stuff uh, reporting, and that's about it. There is nothing notable to inspire the market either up or down on that earnings report. So 
That said, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon. When it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks uh, that could be setting up today. Remember, these are not recommendations to buy any security. Follow your rules and your guidelines. Follow your risk tolerances and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. So first off, let's take a look at a few things that have been moving around here in the market. And obviously, I'm going to go back to this situation in precious metals gold now we continue to say that there is nothing in this market to be concerned about that everything is great everything is good but that is not typically why people buy gold people buy gold because they're looking for protection so i would continue to be a little bit cautious on the market because the way gold is acting. And um, earlier this week we had, I think it was Morgan Stanley suggested gold could go to 3000. So we still have a pretty good upside opportunity in here if this were to consolidate and rest a little bit. And remember geopolitical events also raise that fear level and people start buying gold and silver and other precious metals. So you'll want to keep an eye on that as we um, head into this weekend um, with the geopolitical events that just really aren't getting any better over there in um, the Middle East. So watch that carefully here on gold. I would watch that carefully and I would keep an eye on PHYS as well um, if you want to pick up some physical gold. Uh, PSLV if you're interested in some silver. Now silver you can see has been moving up in this nice upside run here in the chart and looking pretty good overall as we push on higher. We're going to have to deal with some resistance up here and you can see we're just trying to rest after popping through that area. So watch that carefully. If this rests out here toward this trend, look for that next opportunity to potentially pick up some silver in PSLV or SLV as well, looking very bullish. Of course, anytime we see precious metals working and looking like this, you want to be looking into those miners. Um, and GDX ETF if you take a look there's quite a few of these just really looking good in here um, in that sector if you take a look at um, um, individuals uh, Newmont mining very bullish chart continuing to show that resting consolidation here now for the last three days look for that next opportunity for that to potentially push on higher um, other places I think that we want to uh, maybe be keeping an eye on if you like buying Chinese issue stocks um, take a look at Baidu. Baidu just went like a rocket ship ride here back up on all of this stimulus out of China. I'm not sure I believe the whole narrative that this is going to turn China around. They've got real structural problems over there. But if you have an interest in some of these Baidu, um, any resting pullback could set up an opportunity there. Um, JD GD.com would be one to pay attention to just a rocket ship ride up coming right back up into this downtrend. Watch that carefully on that. Um, things like um, uh, Baba, Alibaba might be something to be paying an interest to just really zooming up here the last few days. I wouldn't want to chase them right now, but any rest or pullback might be something of interest here in the market. Um, keep a close eye on that US dollar. The US dollar has been bouncing around here quite a bit. There's quite a little currency movement in the market with all of this stimulus coming out of China. Um, the things that Jeff 
Japan is trying to do to bolster uh, their yen as well, having some impacts here on the US dollar. So watch that closely here as we gyrate around. Please keep in, in mind that we are overall in a downtrend here and we're dealing with some price resistance here in the chart. This actually sets up as a possible short on UUP, so watch that closely. Other things that um, I think are uh, quite interesting right now is keep uh, an eye on Caterpillar. Caterpillar is heavily, heavily dependent on China these days, and you can see um, really getting some inspiration here in Caterpillar on the stimulus over there. So a little rest consolidation or pullback in here would set up that next opportunity in Caterpillar. You can take a look at John Deere. What we're seeing is big moves in some of these heavy equipment areas pushing up here into resistance. So I would wait just a little bit uh, for a rest or consolidation, but keep an eye on John Deere and Cummins also having a nice upside pop, breaking through some resistance in here. So a rest or pullback would set up an opportunity and I'd look for a trend somewhere along in here to provide that opportunity for that next potential leg higher in Cummins. Watch that closely. Now we know that tech has been uh, making some interesting moves here and AMD is one that has pushed up nicely here in the market, breaking through. There's that higher low, higher low here breaking through some resistance in the chart. So now any resting pullback might set up that opportunity there in AMD. Keep a close eye on that. Remember, there's not going to be any corporate buybacks helping out in here. So it may be a bit on the muted side when it does move. But watch some of those big tech giants in here trying to come back around, trying to get something going here in the market as we wait on the next round of earnings. And, and tech giants are going to have to wait here for a few weeks before um, we actually hit their earnings report. So kind of keep that in mind. How about some things in some of the old boring stocks like I continue to talk about um, energy um, and, and utilities. Um, utilities continuing to show lots of bullishness. This resting consolidation in here sets up that next opportunity along the trend. Keep an eye on that looking pretty darn good in here on XLU. Um, other things with old boring uh, type companies um, trying to hold in there. Um, uh, Monster Monster starting to make those moves coming up out of this bottom looking decent breaking through some resistance here and resting look for monster to maybe find that move to the upside uh, coca-cola continues to hang in this consolidation um, we've slipped past this trend but if we can find that bullish energy in here that possibility that we could resume out here still looks like there is that chance and then of course um, big retail my goodness walmart um, really looking good here continues to show bullishness here and um, i would watch for that next opportunity here in walmart watch for costco um, after that report um, yesterday pulling back just a little bit but still there is that chance what we've seen here lately is a stock will pull back after the report and then immediately find buyers and shoot back up so keep an eye on costco and then in one of the discount area of retail uh five below has had quite the the move back to the upside we're not seeing this in dollar general not seeing this in dollar tree or or anything else in that discount um, type uh, retail but five below looking pretty good here breaking through some resistance in the chart this little resting pullback in here could set up that next opportunity and one last stock that i'm going to bring up today would be intel um, you might want to be keeping an eye on that on intel as you can see we have broken through into this gap and we're pushing up so any resting pullback in here any resting pullback would set up that opportunity and then we still have that chance that we could stretch on up here to fill this gap so i would watch carefully for there this could be some decent money in that as well oh i did say that was the last one but i wanted to cover one more 
uh, Disney. Disney coming up out of that bottom finally. We're finally getting a little bit of traction here on this one. Pushing on up, breaking through some resistance levels. This may be the next, uh, the current trend here in the chart. Watch that closely. Disney coming around. I really wouldn't be surprised, however, after that hooks up like this, if it rests back toward this uh, bigger upside trend, but keep an eye on that in Disney. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading today. Thank you so much for being here, putting up with me all week. Um, I've had a real dental problem here. Um, at the last, and as a matter of fact, I had to go see a doctor yesterday. Um, I was in lots of pain but feeling better this morning. So thank you for putting up with me this week. Thank you for all the kindness and support of the channel. I truly appreciate it. And I wish you all a wonderful Friday and a fantastic weekend. See you back here bright and early Monday morning. And as always, have a great day, everyone.